gone it back together and i'm never going down at the hands of the likes of you because i'm so much better and every part of me is saying go get her the two of us ain't gonna follow your rules come at me without any of your fancy tools let's go just me and you let's go just one on two go ahead and try and be a jet can't you see my relationship is stable i can see you with the sweet and delusional but i think you're just Hey YouTube, and if you are watching this, that means that I have, or my channel, has reached 30 subscribers. And I don't really like the term subscribers because you're people, and it's you guys who watch my videos, leave comments and likes, and the ones who subscribed in the first place, and keep me making the content I am because at least I know if there's at least one person watching then I know that maybe that I would um oh, what you call it brighten their day so as my gift to you for having 30 subscribers or people on my channel, I would like to show you how to make a joy jar. And I'm going to be making a joy jar for not only me, but for you guys for getting me as far as I have. And if you don't know, this is my third go at YouTube. So I've been on YouTube for about five to seven years. I don't remember. Um, but 
I originally started doing meditation videos that she could watch, um, and then I progressed to do it, or I did those videos, but then I took them down, even though they were getting a lot of views, I wasn't sure if I would be able to keep doing them because of copyright restrictions and all this and that, so I took them down. But then I came back and started doing them again, but picking up from where I left off. Um, but again, copyright infringement, and I wasn't sure if people liked them as much as the older ones, so I took those down too. And then for the third time, I came back to YouTube as a way of getting more creative with my witchy stuff, conveying my experiences with the craft with you guys, and just seeing where that goes from there. My channel's up to like 80 something videos now, which is far away from the 12 original meditation videos that I have re-uploaded to YouTube. Except Meditation 7, I have Meditation 7 and then I have alternate audio because I couldn't get around. I wasn't sure if it was the video part in it or if it was the music, but I had to change it up. But there's those for you to watch. And before we get started with the Joy Jar, I would like to share what the number 30 means in um, angel number and numerology. So the angel number for 30 is a mixture of the energies of number 3 and number 0. It's the attributes of angel number 30, meaning number 3 stands for the eloquence and expression, magnetism, and naturalness. It is also, it also denotes growth and development, liveliness and zeal, motivation and innovation, imagination and accomplishment are the other characteristics. The number zero has the energies of commencement, fullness, perpetuity, no, perpetuity, <laughs> ah, I don't know, um, and systematic number sequences. Number zero stands for the inner strength and selection of spiritual path. It refers to the obstacles encountered in the beginning and in the course of the spiritual voyage. Number zero is advising you to listen to your inner voice and to seek the intervention of the divine forces for getting a solution to your spiritual problems. Number zero has the quality of blowing up the vibrations of the number it is associated with. Angel number 30 denotes that you remain in touch with the angels spiritually and are requesting for their support and direction whenever necessary, which could also um, parallel to you guys asking you just to, if you like my content, keep watching it, liking videos, leave me some interest comments about what you want me to do. Um, the angel numbers is forcing you to be aware of your spiritual strengths and skills, and you are asking to use them for boosting your quality of life. Angel number 30 is an indication that if you want to succeed in all areas of life, you have to be frank and truthful and deal with others with confidence and delight. And then the numerology meaning of the number 30 is great communication skills, being super creative and, ent and entertaining are attributes of the number 30. 30 is popular and well liked by all and enjoy having a good laugh and a fun time. 30 is known to be a cheeky and charismatic energy. People with the 30 energy love to talk. 
They despise upsetting others and will go out of their way to avoid conflict. conflict. They do well when given the freedom to express themselves. Which kind of fits perfectly with what I'm doing here on YouTube. And without further ado is the Joy Jar. Alright, so for your Joy Jar, you're going to need one jar. I got these at a either Michael's or Hobby Lobby and they were like $1.99 each but with a coupon I'm sure you could probably get it even less. But I also have a cork for that jar. Um, you're also going to need glitter and I got some of the Walmart brand fine glitter and I got some um, hollow glitter at Joann's some stars here's some or uh, here's some tiny stars and then optional you can use these little tiny mini cupcake um, foils um, because there is a, a thing such as using too much glitter in one of these because in a bigger mason jar you could probably get away with it but since it's so compact and small you're going to want to use just a little bit of, or a decent amount of glitter so that it can have the full effect of shaking it up and having it go all pretty um, but you're also going to need clear glue and a candle. You can choose which color it is because it is your jo joy jar. So I'm either going to use purple or white. Um, I also have some black candles I may use, but that's just up to you. I also am using a little, I guess these are baby spoons, I'm not sure, um, but I tried to use a toothpick to um, stir the concoction and the toothpick just wasn't reaching down in there to get the glue at the bottom and the glitter so these are longer and fit in pretty well um, so you can just stir like that and then I'm also going to use water which is also up to your um, idea of what you want your joy jar to be you could use sand, you could use wax and put glitter in it and stir it up and have it refreeze. Um, you could put feathers into a jar with some glitter, it's all up to you. But I'm going to use water for this one. Um, and I'm going to be using different types of water. And I'm just going to go through why I'm using those real quick. So here we have snow water which is good for new beginnings and transformations. This is some midnight snow water that I collected at midnight during a full moon. We have well water, which is good for healing, intuition, and witches. And then I have pond water, and the reason I'm using pond water is because, to me, it's like a mixture of lake water, river water, and swamp water. And all those three things are good for is contentment and peace, which is lake water. River water is good for change, upward movement in life. And swamp water is good for banishing and binding. And then we also have Rainwater, which is good for clarity, intuition, calming, um, purification, all kinds of stuff. But I also have midnight rainwater that I collected at midnight. 
And then we also have holy water, which is good for cleansing, purification, um, holy water, holy water. And then I also have um, ice or snow ice that I collected when it, the snow fell and ice is good for transformation and creativity um, but those are what I'm using in this jar and that pot is already going um, anything else you might need nope alright so the first step you're going to want to follow this um, technique, especially if you don't want a huge mess. I think this is probably the best way to make sure that you get a good um, jar and to make sure that you don't make a huge mess, which is why I also am using these cups is because pouring the glitter into the jar after you put in the glue in the water is just, it was such a mess. I had to go back and redo this because it ended up having too much glitter and it just wasn't up to par with me. Um, but I used the fine glitter, um, the hollow glitter, and some stars um, in this. And you just want to use a little bit. I used a little bit of like 20 different kinds of glitter. And I'm going to put clear glue in this, but optional. You can also put in um, food coloring um, if you want to. But I'm just going to make this a rainbow jar since I already have this indigo jar. Um, but the first step is to take your glitter and you're just going to want to put it all in there. And then I'll be right back with the water. Alright, so we have our water. So now we can see that our glitter doesn't really take up that much room at the bottom. So we're going to fill the jar probably up to the at least one third of the way or you can go half of the way because depending on how much water you have in the jar and glue or how much water to glue ratio you have the more glue is going to cause glitter to fall down slower more water it will mean that it'll fall down quicker but I'm going to go ahead and just pour some in here. I'm going to go halfway. And you're going to want to leave some room at the top so that when you do shake it, that the glitter will dissipate into the water and glue mixture. Um, so now we're going to add the glue. If I can get it to come out, that's what you said. Alright, so now it's up to almost the rim of the jar, but I'm going to go ahead and add just a tiny bit more water. And then you're just going to want to stir it. And you're going to want to work with this hot so that the glue melts into the water and onto the glitter. Um, you don't want any blobs of glitter just in there floating around. I don't think it would look as good. Um, but that's just a personal preference. If you want blobby glitter, then that's totally up to you.
All right, so now we are going to just add some of the clear glue to the inner rim of the jar. And then what we are going to do is we're going to take your candle and we're just going to put, or we're going to take our lighter and we're going to use the bottom of your candle and you're going to whack the side of the cork so that it will have a groove and a wax seal, so keeping the glitter in. So then you just stick it on there. Make sure that this stick it really good on in there so that the front. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're also going to melt the bottom. Just gonna stick it on there and let it cool. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you can either write a spell for joy and that may be different for you. Um, joy to me means happiness and um, excitement or creativity. Um, so you can write a spell for it, but you can also just meditate and set the intention for your jar. Um, but that's about it. It should take you about, at the very most, it should take you maybe 10 minutes to do. Um, but this is Deep Joy Jar. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you have any other suggestions for future videos, if you like this video, then hit the like button, um, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And thank you for 30 subscribers. I have no words because I had no idea that this channel would be interesting to anybody and you prove me wrong all right bye guys if you're evil and you're on the rise you can count on the four of us taking you down because we're good and evil never beats us we'll win the fight and then go out for pizzas we are the crystal gems we'll always save the day and if you think we can we'll always find a way that's why Taking you down Cause we are good and evil never beats us We'll win the fight and then go out for pizza We are the crystal gems We'll always save the day And if you think we can't We'll always find a way 
Why the people of this world believe it? 